almost Jaybird's entire product lineup is brand new for 2019. And besides a truly wireless Jaybird run, the rest of Jaybird's products might seem like they're all the same. But that's not true. There are some key differences between the Jaybird Terra, Jaybird X4, and Jaybird Terra Pro that you'll want to take into consideration before buying your first pair of Jaybird earbuds. So today, we're going to break down Jaybird's entire product lineup and hopefully find out which one's right for you. The Jaybird Terra or Jaybird's budget-friendly entry-level model retailing for $99.99. The Jaybird X4 are an updated version of the hugely popular Jaybird X3s and X2s, which currently retail for $129.99. The Jaybird Terra Pro are hands down my most favorite pair of earbuds Jaybird has ever put out and retails for $159.99. And finally, there's the Jaybird Run. These are currently the oldest model of earbuds in Jaybird's lineup as of Q1 2019 and retails for $179.99. If you want to pick any of these earbuds up, I'll have links in the description down below. And I suggest you check them out because you never know when they might go on sale. So you might get lucky. So, as you can obviously tell, the Jaybird Terra, X4, and Terra Pro are all wired Bluetooth earbuds. They all have a wire connecting the earbuds to one another, and they all have an inline controller, so you can fully control your music. Whereas the Jaybird Run are a pair of truly wireless earbuds that allow you to go completely wire-free, and you got a charging case. Think of these as sports-oriented AirPods. Pretty basic stuff. But what makes the Terra Pro stand out from the Terra and X4 is that it has a fabric braided cable. So it makes these earbuds feel more premium and it also makes them more rugged. Whereas both the Terra and X4s have soft touch plastic cables connecting the earbuds to one another. Now the Terras and X4s are by no means fragile. Jaybird's entire lineup is sweatproof. But you do have more peace of mind throwing around the Terra Pros in your gym bag compared to all of the other models. But now let's talk about fit. What put Jaybird on the map was its two-piece ear fin and ear tip fitting system that was used on all of the X4's predecessors and is also used on the Jaybird Run. You can mix and match ear tips and ear fins until you find your perfect fit. And if you don't want, you don't even have to use the ear fins. But if we look at the Terra and Terra Pro, they don't have the same two-piece fitting system like on the X4s. Instead, they have single ear gels that have the ear tip and ear fins combined into one. Personally, I don't mind it one bit, but the single one-piece ear gel does hold back the entry-level Terras. You see, with the Jaybird X4s, if you want, you can wear them in their standard fitting position, or you can rotate the ear fins and wear them in their over-ear position. And a lot of people like this over-ear position because it offers a significantly more secure fit over the standard fitting position. But since the ear fins on the Terras can't rotate, you can only wear them one way. Now, even though the Terra Pro uses the same ear gels as the entry-level Terra, the earbuds on the Terra Pro actually rotate, so you still have the option of wearing them in their more secure over-ear position. So if you're an endurance or marathon runner looking for a pair of wireless earbuds that are going to eventually wiggle out, you're probably better off going with the X4s or Terra Pros because of that over-ear fit option. But another thing to take into consideration is going to be battery life because it's completely different across the board. The entry-level Jaybird Terras have an advertised battery life of just 6 hours, whereas the X4s have an advertised battery life of 8 hours, which is pretty average. And then there's the Jaybird Terra Pro with an advertised battery life of 14 hours, which isn't just industry-leading, it's also pretty impressive given their size. But the Terra Pros also has some of the best fast charging out there right now. If you charge the Terra Pros up for 5 minutes from a dead battery, they're going to get you 2 hours of playback time. Whereas both the entry level Terra and X4s are only going to get you 1 hour of playback time from a 10 minute charge. So if you're looking for a pair of sports wireless earbuds with great battery life and some of the best fast charging out there right now, then the Terra Pros are the way to go. Now, when it comes to the battery life on the Jaybird Run, they have an advertised battery life of 4 hours of continuous playback time, which is pretty average for truly wireless earbuds these days. And the case is able to supply the earbuds an additional 8 hours of battery life. So the Jaybird Run have an overall battery life of 12 hours. But what really holds the Jaybird Run back for me is their lack of fast charging. But when it comes to wireless connectivity, all of Jaybird's wired Bluetooth earbuds have stable connections that don't cut out and are all decent for watching videos with your phone because they all have low latency. But unfortunately, the same can't be said for the Jaybird Run. The Jaybird Runs do have a significant amount of latency, making them not the best for watching videos with. And latency in truly wireless earbuds is still pretty common these days because they're still relatively new technology. 
But the one thing you're not going to have to sacrifice when choosing between any of Jaybird's earbuds is going to be sound quality. All of Jaybird's earbuds sound great. It's what made Jaybird so popular. All of Jaybird's earbuds connect to their app so you can select from pre-made EQs or you can make your own so you can make them sound however you want depending on the type of music you listen to. If you like to listen to rap and hip-hop, you can make them have lots and lots of bass like the Power Beats 3, or if you listen to rock, you can make them have an emphasis on the mids. And overall, Jaybird has one of the best and most stable companion apps out there. But the last thing I want to touch on here are the control buttons on these earbuds. Like I mentioned earlier, the Jaybird Terra, X4, and Terra Pro all have inline controllers, and I personally prefer to still use wired Bluetooth earbuds at the gym, because their inline controllers give you full control over your music playback, so you don't have to touch your phone as much, versus truly wireless earbuds, which only give you partial control over your music playback. On the Jaybird Run, each earbud has a button, and through the app you can select from one of the two button layout setups. Personally, I prefer to use the alternate controls because you can adjust the volume of your music by pressing once on the left or right earbud, and you can skip forward through your music by double pressing either earbud. Even though the meter controls on the Jaybird Run are decent, I still prefer to just use a full-on inline controller. And personally, I think the inline controllers found on both Terra models are better than the inline controller found on the X4, because the raised plus and minus buttons are easier to tell apart by just touch versus the X4's circular buttons. So overall, the main things to consider when choosing between Jaybird's earbuds is going to be fit, battery life, and price. The Jaybird Run are a very convenient pair of workout earbuds because they lose the cord. But losing the cord means paying a premium, compromising on battery life, and having to deal with significant latency, which could suck if you like to watch videos while you're jogging on the treadmill. Personally, I think the Jaybird Terra Pro are the best wireless earbuds Jaybird has ever put out, and they're currently one of the best sports wireless earbuds on the market right now. They're super durable, their battery life is amazing, they sound great, and they have no connection issues whatsoever. But if you're looking to save some money, you're still better off going with the Jaybird X4s rather than the entry-level Terras. Even though the Terras are decent, I think you're still better off poning up the extra cash cause with the X4s, you're getting a slightly longer battery life, you get more fitting options, and you get a carrying pouch. Cause another way the entry level Terras cut costs is by not including a carrying pouch like all of the other earbuds here. So right now, I think you can't go wrong with picking up either the Jaybird Terra Pro or Jaybird X4, cause I think it's pretty obvious the Jaybird Run are currently the next model to get updated. So if you want to learn more about the Jaybird Terra Pro or Jaybird X4, please make sure to check out their full reviews. If you made it this far, I guess you enjoyed the video, so hit that like button and get subscribed. It helps out more than you realize. If you want to pick any of the products up mentioned in this video, those will be linked in the description down below, and you can also support the channel by checking out the merch store. But other than that, I'll catch you next time.